So if you're constantly watching beginner tutorials and you don't know why you don't progress and why you don't get amazing 3D models and results, then this video will be for you. And honestly, if you don't watch this video and if you don't understand what I will show you here, you will literally, not just 3D modeling, you will achieve nothing in your life. You will be always stuck at the beginner level. You will not know how to learn, how to implement the learnings from teachings, courses and tutorials. And I did this video because I did recently a survey of my community and more than half of the people told me that they just watch tutorials without practicing and implementing what they see in there. And, and this is completely crazy. So I recorded this mindset session that you will see in a second and this is a part of my new plasticity all-in-one 3d modeling course but I think it's so important that I just have to put it on YouTube just to make as many people as possible aware how they waste their potential so I don't want to talk so much let's jump in into this bonus module of my new plasticity course okay so I want to start this course with a quote from Confucius a Chinese philosopher and he said I hear and I forget I see and I remember, I do and understand. And maybe you're thinking, what the hell is happening here? I thought I signed up for a modeling course in plasticity. What is that? So just stay with me. If you click already away, then you will achieve nothing in your life. So just stay with me here. So I just want to show you something. I um, made a little survey on my YouTube channel where I asked my community, if they follow my tutorials and do what I teach them and practice that on their own, or if they follow always along and do what I'm teaching and download the practice files and just engage with my tutorials. And what completely blew me away, I just don't, so I understand why this is, but 60% of the people, they just watch my tutorials without doing that on, on uh, themselves. So if you, are along those persons, then you definitely sh uh, should check out this video. And just 40%, so less than half, really do what I'm teaching. And uh, yeah, and why I'm showing you all that? It's because I suppose that many people waste their time because they don't know how to learn effectively. And the thing is why I care about that, because my mission is, to create the best plasticity training on the internet. And that means, so it's not just, I, I, so it's not just, I want your money, buy my courses and bye bye, have a nice day, but teach you how to get the best results. That's why you're also watching this video now. And that's why you find in the course always tons of bonuses and educational content. And why I put so much effort in the courses and tutorials, not like other people just make time lapses or just show how they model without any explanation. This is, in my opinion, the absolute biggest garbage bullshit that a teacher can do because it's zero value for you who's watching that. But yeah, let's go further. So maybe you think, oh, what is he talking about? He doesn't know anything. Yes, I understand that. So don't take my word for it. I want to introduce you to a scientific proven concept from Edgar Dale. You can check it out. There's a ton of research about that. And he was an American educator in the last century. And he developed this cone of experience. So this is how it looks like. And without going too much into detail, let's break it down into the very core concepts, which are important for you to understand. So at the very bottom, you have the most heavy, the most concrete learning experience. So just for a second, this cone of experience is also called learning pyramid. And it's just explains with which action you remember the most and you learn the most. And here at the base, you have the active part. So simulations, practicum and teaching others. So that means if you engage in the learning experience. So for example, right in the school, you, you went to a company and you engaged in the work, you learned from the people you were in the environment. Maybe you had to present what you learned to, to your, uh, to your boss or something, you know, this way you, you learn much, much more because you are just, because a lot of your senses are activated in the learning experience. And here at the very bottom, the, the, the strongest 
foundations of how you can remember things and learn things is teaching others. That's why it's also one big reason why I'm doing all that. It's because this way, how I teach you and also doing this presentation, I learn myself so much. I had to do hours of this research, break it down, uh, create this presentation to, to teach it you now, right? So I had to write it. I have to research that. I, I, I'm speaking now. I watched lots of videos and I was engaged in the learning experience, right? So this is the doing part and it's the most strongest one. Then on top of that, you have stuff like films, educational television, ex exhibits, field trips, demonstrations. And here we are entering the passive part. So when you're watching movies or as, um, or as in the YouTube survey, people which are just watching my tutorials, so that would be educational television, or if you, like in school, you did ex exhibits to a museum or something, it's very passive. You, you engage with that, but you are just listening and hearing. Maybe you did a field trip or a demonstration, right, when you um, were sitting in a school and the teacher just in the front just did some chemical demonstrations or something. It's observing, it's very passive. You don't engage in the learning experience with your own hands, with, with your own actions. So you're losing already a lot of potential about how to really learn it and remember that uh, later on. And then at the very top, guys, you have words, images, also uh, audition. So this is, this is completely passive and abstract. It's the worst form of learning if you just look at images or if you just listen to something like a podcast or something or you're scrolling on Instagram, you, you really don't learn a lot. And I'm pretty sure that you can agree with, not with me, with, with this research that if, for example, I see on Instagram, so I'm not on Instagram, but back then it's a lot of those 15 seconds um, reels or TikToks, how they're called, I don't know, where they make some tutorials or something, but you will, you know it, you you watch this kind of stuff on the couch while you are laying and you're just scrolling and, oh yeah, maybe I learned something, you know, but it's zero. Or also, if you're just listening all day to podcasts, there, or just watching YouTube videos all day long, you will learn zero. Whereas, if you do it on your own, for those people who follow my tutorials and practice and download the, uh, the files and go through the whole course and where they after, after the course create their own projects. So I have already some of experience, like over 500 people bought of my, my courses, my YouTube channel, and I'm speaking always with people. Those who do this stuff, they get the results and they learn something. and they can create something on their own. Whereas those people which just watch it, it's, they don't get any results. And just the concept that you have to understand is the higher you get on the pyramid, on the scheme, the less information you remember, the less you are engaged in the learning experience and the less results you are just getting. So to break that everything down, what does that mean exactly for you when you are going through this course while you are in the process? First point, watch every module without skipping. Yes, it's long, it's a lot of content and sometimes it's boring, of course, but if you're just skipping or I don't know, maybe already I can imagine, I don't know, some people don't watch even that anymore because oh, he's talking too much and I can't listening, my uh, attention span is zero, you know, those people lost already. But those people, you know, because those courses, when I create them, it's not just, again, it's not, uh, I just want to create something and just put it out and give me your money. No, hopefully you see how much thought and process and thinking is in my process and all of the um, extra bonus modules and where I put them and everything what I teach you, it, it has a meaning. So don't skip anything and go through everything and follow along and do exactly what I'm doing while I am doing that. So never ever watch me doing just for entertainment purposes or while because you think or oh, with the looking, I can learn something. 
always remember here images and films are very high on the uh, on the pyramid so always follow exactly along what i'm doing and try to do things on your own so in this course i will pause oftentimes and will tell you okay so here we did some progress in the course and now we want to create that and that kind of stuff so pause now and do it on your own try that do that you know just engage and 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 activate your brain cells and try to do it on your own also guys make notes about useful for you things so maybe if some people are already doing some notes and always when they they buy a course or something they have like an iPad or a notebook with a pen just to make notes or writing questions or something or some concepts, which I will also teach you a lot more concepts and theory just to write them down. Because again, if you just watch it and then you write it down and you have to think how to write it down, there are much more senses involved again in the learning experience. So that means you will learn again more. And if you have questions, and you can't find them on your own, which will be even better. Ask. Yeah, just ask. <laughs> you can ask here in our community tab. So we have an amazing community. I help always. Other people help always, which I really, really appreciate. So for everyone who, who gives comments and goes over other uh, people's project files and try to solve that, it's amazing. What you are doing is you teach others, right? So, so you share what you learn and by doing that you also learn that right so yeah just ask questions and also extremely important so this is everything what you have to do while you're watching the course it's not just for me for everything what you're doing learning taking some other courses or something but then after the course which is the absolute most important thing of every advice that i can give you you have to try to model the same model on your own from scratch. I know guys, to go through a long course, it's, it takes a lot of energy, it's sometimes boring, it needs a lot of discipline, I understand that. But afterwards, if you close everything and you just open the reference from, from the course, try to model it on your own. First of all, you, you will implement what you learned on your own. and. And also it will be much, much faster because you don't have to watch the video, pause, do it in, 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 in plasticity, remodel the same and again, go back to my video. You don't have that anymore. That will be much, much faster. And afterwards, find a similar model and implement the learnings you learned in the course. So just for example, I will most probably in include this video in all of my courses. Let let's see, but I'm recording that originally for my motorcycle plasticity course. So afterwards, after the motorcycle, don't go to a weapon or I don't know, a airplane or something. I mean, you will also be able to, to, to do those things with the teachings that I will teach you. But after this motorcycle, try to find or create another concept, which is different from what I showed you and try to go through the whole process from step zero till, till the last step and do that on your own. <laughs> you will see like those people who do that. So I've observed that already in my community and through speaking with other people, those people who are doing that, they get the results. They get, they become hundred times literally faster and better than other people who don't make it even through the end of the course. Okay. And guys, I know it, it will be hard and you will encounter thousands of challenges. It's normal. It's good. How can you grow? How can you get better if, if you would do everything from the beginning, right? It's impossible, right? You, you, you have to encounter problems. It's not just my plasticity courses. It's for everything in life. You have to do stuff and you have to get to challenges or they will come automatically. Always. Everyone have challenges. I, I, I'm encountering them, them on a daily basis, but it's awesome because it's I'm struggling. I'm 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 it's painful, but I learn because I have to find then the solutions I I have to learn. And this way is how I grow and learn. Right. And guys, so just no matter what, not just in my plasticity courses, push through and try as good as you can. Just in life, we always again have challenges in personal life, financial lives. Never give up. 
always push through and just push through, you know, because this is already what will make you successful because successful people, it's not just money, it could be also plasticity modeling. Successful people do stuff what unsuccessful people are not willing to do, you know, because those unsuccessful people in whatever sense it may be, they instantly give up when it gets a little bit of challenging, you know. So, guys, so important. And, guys, this is what I'm telling you. It's the only way that you will learn and progress fast. I guarantee you, maybe if you are still listening, I just want to make you aware. Most of those things, they are pretty clear, but most people are just not aware Right? But if you just watch something on the couch or you watch my tutorials or something, I don't know why why even. So if you want to be entertained, there are much better ways to be entertained. But, um, but by doing and following along and working on your projects, this is the way that you will learn and grow and progress fast. Guys, let me know in the comments in the community. I might uh, post it also on YouTube if you like this kind of videos because then I would share more of this kind of stuff. So if you liked this kind of mindset training and you use plasticity and you want to get much, much better very fast, I can definitely recommend you my new plasticity all-in-one complete solution. First link in the description. You will learn the absolute most powerful key techniques and workflows to implement it in your own workflow. So check it out. First link in the description. Have a nice day. Bye.